So what we're going to do here is set up an exchange account and then access it through the delegates. So let's click on the control panel. We go to the mail tool on the control panel for Outlook. This mail tool is a gateway to setting these things up. So click on the email accounts and we can see here what we have is a pop SMTP account. So we'll create a new account and we click on manual and by doing manual that allows us to enter the data that we want. So we click on Microsoft Exchange and here we have our own server so it's one two three add-ons server and then uh, the account we use is Tom Wickman. We can check the name and it will tell us whether the name is correct and now we have an exchange account that we have access to. We get a little warning from Outlook saying that we have to restart it and that's okay and then we finish. So now we have an exchange account here and that means we have access to one mailbox in exchange. So we want to add additional mailboxes so you can access these mailboxes from the same Outlook interface. So just click on change. So that will give me that. Uh, so we click on more settings and on the more settings is a, a very interesting part which is on the advanced. Here you can add the additional mailboxes you want to access. So you click on add and uh, we have a uh, Chris Huffman there so it's C Huffman I think. Huffman. And now it's authenticated against the exchange server so now we have access to our own mailboxes as well to Chris Huffman's mailbox. We click on apply, close, close, click on next, that will save everything. So now what we have is access to two mailboxes on the exchange from one Outlook profile. So we have started Outlook and on the Outlook uh, you should go and click on the on the icon that shows the folders. And we can see here that we have Tom Wickman which is the one exchange account and now we have Chris Huffman which is the other exchange account. So these are the two exchange accounts that we've had. One is the one the native and the other one is the delegate right here. And then of course we have the our public folders we, that we have access to on the exchange. So always make sure when you set up in Outlook first that you get a full listing of the folders and then that you can actually go in here and create an account. We find a lot of people when they set up the exchange they have all kinds of permission issues that uh, they cannot create an account and that causes as well issues with the synchronization. The same thing on all the contacts here we can go and see if you can edit the contact. Uh, just set up some test contacts when you're setting up in Outlook and if you don't get an error that means it's working. Do the same thing with the calendar.